Hello everyone and welcome back to Raspberry Rock, where I'm Russell and you're Carol. I just freaked out about 20 Carols that watch our videos. Anyway, it is a balmy... I don't, I don't even know what balmy means. It's a day here at Raspberry Rock. It's Tuesday. Overcast. A little bit of sun now and then. It's about 12 Celsius. Really nice temperature actually. Just over uh, 50 Fahrenheit. 55 Fahrenheit, I'm gonna guess. I don't know. I want to show you something. It rained like crazy last night. Like it was going for like 25 to 30 millimeters, uh, and which is two and a half to three centimeters, and two and a half centimeters is about an inch. That's what they were calling for. It might have rained a little bit more than that, but come, let me show you something. So you might ask yourself, how much does two and a half centimeters to three centimeters, or an inch to an inch and a half of rain, mean in the tote? That's an excellent question, and I was asking myself the same question. Before last night, when we got all that rain, we had about eight inches of rain in here. This is about, that's the bottom of this. Zip. We had about eight inches in here. Yeah, right about there. In fact, I can see the previous line. So how much do you think, how much water do you think is in the tote now? Any guesses? A quarter, half, full, 75%, somewhere there? Two thirds, three fifths? Uh, go down to the comments and let me know your guess. Because I'd be interested to know. I'll wait. Well, I'm not going to wait forever. You could pause the video if you wanted and then do it. But I was eager to come out here today and see how much rain was in there. Can you see the new line? That is uh, about three quarters. 75%. That's pretty cool. And this is the brilliance of having a water tote. Is that it collects. When we have those really heavy rainfalls. When I just had the barrels here. You know, the barrels would just overflow with water and I'd lose all of it. But the huge tote means I, I collect all of it. And this much water will last, oh man, this water, much water lasts a long time. Like at least a month, month and a half, I don't know, two months? I'm not sure. It'll last a long time, certainly until it rains again, which is, I think, supposed to be tomorrow. <laughs> so we're good for water for a while. Happy about that. All winter long we struggle with water. Hear that? That's the sound of happiness at Raspberry Rock. So what's going on here? Uh, someone sent me out to the duck raft to plant some grass seeds. <laughs> Someone's sending you out? <laughs> so this is what I got. <clears throat> We're going to replace the branches on the gray poles because they're looking pretty sad. And I've got my grass seed and a bag of soil. Um, and that's it. And? Branches. Right? Pine tree branches. And okay. good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you. <clears throat> Nicely done. I guess I need the GoPro. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. There you go. that I think I prefer this like in the spring, April, right because we're towards the end of April, and also in late fall going on the pond when there aren't any weeds and the water is just clear. I did 
come out here uh, last week to take a look at what was exactly on the duck raft. Just, you know, to see the situation, of course. Still some sticks, a little bit of moss, and these dead branches. I gotta move these sticks off to one side. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do that. So here's a close up of what you see, right? Bunch of sticks. Pretty sure that the beavers did that. I don't know who else would have done that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I've gotta move them to one side. How the heck am I gonna do that? Oh gosh. Well, how do I get myself into these things? Okay, I managed to move some of the sticks over to either side. That was no easy task. Sprinkled the soil there, and now <clears throat> I'm gonna sprinkle the grass seed on there. Oh no, I'm drifting away. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. It said that you can sprinkle it by hand, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> You know what? I need to water this too. Well, how the heck am I going to do that? I should have brought a watering can. Damn it. All right, I did the best that I could with the grass seed and now I'm going to um, just put in some fresh pine tree branches. Gosh, I keep drifting away here. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll show you the after picture. All right, there it is. That was quite a bit of effort on my part. <laughs> and now as a reward, I am gonna toodle around the beaver pond. Hello. <laughs> you 
coming? Come on. Coming this way. So city girl gave me a haircut. What do you think? Huh? 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 Very nice. She did a good job. So one more project before we end this video. Can you guess what I'm doing here? Like 
First person to guess gets a sloppy kiss from Junebug. You have to guess in the comments below. Do, do your guess and then you can get the sloppy kiss. It's uh, really hot here in the cabin. We had a fire going because I like to get it nice and warm. It's it's pretty cool today. It hasn't hit 10 Celsius. I think it get pretty warm when we're having showers. Anyway, that's why I'm not wearing any pants. Just thought I'd point that out. You probably couldn't see that anyway. Anyone figure it out yet? That's not a bad spot. Okay, right there. Alright, anybody figuring it out yet? You'll notice it's right at city girl height. Huzzah! You have to try it, dear. Oh, I like the way that it's got the magnets. That's pretty neat. Oh, that's like the perfect size there. Yeah. Alright, so let's see if there are any ducks on our duck raft. Nope. There aren't any. Boo. Oh, well. Thanks. I really like it. <laughs> that is just perfect. <laughs> Yours is first. Really? You, you no, know, it's not gonna work. You, okay, stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> okay, fine. That was yours the other way. Now that's a plate of nachos. <laughs> City girl raced off so that she could eat hers, and that's okay. Um, she's feeling a lot better. Thanks to everyone who uh, wished us, wished City girl well in her battle with COVID. She's mostly over it. I think, like, she's ninety-five percent. She's just got a couple lingering things like a cough. Anything else other than the cough? Just cough. Just a little cough. Uh, but she'll be at the live stream. Yeah, we're live streaming this Friday, and uh, me. I've completely missed the COVID. <laughs> I thought I was showing like some small symptoms, like I had a bit of a cough for a bit, but I tested negative a couple of times for COVID at our home test and um, I appear to be fine. So 
Cheers to me. And I made no attempt at staying away from City Girl. I mean, how could I? We are cuddling on the, on the couch every night. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go eat these nachos, and then we're probably going to watch a movie. And then i got to edit this video. But we'll see you Friday night. Peace out.